Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, I'll configure manual NAT to allow external users to access the web server placed in DMZ network over the internet. First of all, let me show you the lab topology which I'm going to use in this lab guide. I'm using this Windows 7 virtual machine to test the manual NAT rule. Uh, the assigned IP address to this virtual machine is 172.18.72.11 which is in a same range as the external IP address of our checkpoint firewall. Uh, let me show you the IP configuration first. As you can see the assigned IP address 172.18.72.11 I haven't assigned the default gateways IP address nor DNS servers address. Uh, this is our internal web server which I have placed in DMZ. On this virtual machine, I have already installed and configured IIS web service. The assigned IP address to this virtual machine is 182.168.21.5. I want that users from the internet can access this web server with the help of a manual net. Let me show you the IP configuration details of that virtual machine. As you can see the IP address 192.168.21.5 with the gateways IP address 192.168.21.1 and the DNS server's address 8.8.8.8. .8 now let's go to our Windows 10 virtual machine where I have installed Smart Console Dashboard. Already I have accessed the Smart Console Dashboard. First of all, I'm going to create new host objects which are required while creating the rules and for that under object categories, I'm going to click on new and select host. First of all, I'm going to create new host object for our internal DMZ server. Let's give name DMZ web server and here you need to enter the IP version 4 address of that host. In my case, the IP address is 192.168.21.5. Remember here you need to enter the local IP address. Fine. Let's click on OK. Let's click on network objects, click on host and here, we, what is it? Click on host and here we can see that host object. Next, I want to create one more object. Click host, let's give name FW outside interface. Okay. Type the IP version 4 address of the firewall which is connecting with the internet. So we are using the test lab created in VirtualBox and that's why I have the IP address 172.18.72.2. Okay, let me show the topology. We are entering this IP address. So in your case, uh, here you need to enter the public IP address of your firewall's internet facing interface. Click OK. Then Now let's click on security policies. Click on NAT. Now I'm going to click on automatically generated rules machine static NAT. Let's right click here. Select new rule and click on above. I want to keep this manual rule top of the list. Let's add name. Allow access to DMZ web server manual NAT rule. Original source is going to be any as any computer can access the web server. Original destination is going to be external IP address of our firewall for which I have created host object name FW outside interface. Now let's click on this plus sign and select FW outside interface. Original services is going to be HTTP or HTTPS. Here I'm adding HTTP only for this lab. Click on this plus icon. Select HTTP. Suppose if you want to also add HTTPS service, then you need to create a second rule. Translated source is again going to be any. You need to change the translated destination to configure the destination netting. And for that, you need to click on this plus icon and select the object of a web server with the internal IP address. In our case, I have created one host object with the name DMZ web server with the IP address 182.168.21.5. We need to select that. 
under translated service it is going to be original because we are not translating service let's uh, select our security gateway mbn r81 gw01 so this policy will create manual nat rule but you also need to create access control rule to allow the access to http traffic coming to your web server and for that we need to click on policy above default cleanup rule i'm going to click here and select new section title let's give name dmz rules let's right click there and select new rule below this section title let's give name to dmz web server source is going to be any because anyone can access that under destination let's click on this plus icon and here i'm going to select fw outside interface okay under services let's click on this plus icon and add http select it action is going to be accept we want to generate logs let's click on this plus icon to select a security gateway done let's click on publish to save the changes click on publish again click on install policy to push this policies on our security gateway click on details and verify the details perfect now the configuration part is completed uh, to test manual netting let's jump to this a uh, windows 7 virtual machine from where we are going to access the web server which we have stored in a dmc so we jump to this virtual machine already i show you the ip address which is 172.18.72.11 let's open internet explorer and let's type http colon double slash and here you need to type the internet facing ip address of your firewall uh, which is uh, 172.18.72.2 in my case 172.18.72.2 let's press enter key and voila as you can see i'm able to access the web server successfully let me access internet explorer here Let's access localhost. So this is the home page of our internal DMZ web server. Let's go to Windows 10 virtual machine. Let's select our rule. Click on logs. And here we have a two log entry. Let's double click on it. You can see the source 172.18.72.11. This is the source port. Source zone is external and destination zone is internal. Service is HTTP on TCP port 80 and interface ETH3. Under policy, we can verify that matching rule is rule number four to DMZ web server. And for NAT, it is matching with the rule number one. Let's click on it. and we jump on this rule number 1 allow access to dmz web server this is the manual nat rule uh you need to also keep in mind that external user can access the web server over the internet but the web server cannot access the internet based on the rules which we have created if you want to give internet access to the web server you can use hide nat for it you just need to enable hide net in web server object properties let me show you that as well let's right click select add it click on net and here you need to select this check box at this point uh, that dmz server cannot access the internet let me show you that ping 8.8.8.8 and as you can see request time out that means this internal web server cannot access the internet and suppose if you want to allow internet access on this dmz web server 
then you need to configure hide net on this host object. So in this lab guide, we have seen the steps to configure manual netting in Jackpoint Firewall R81. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next lab guide.